Welcome to this series of tutorial videos. In this series, we will start from scratch to teach you how to use my viewboard. Today we start with my viewboard whiteboard. How to get an account and how to download is our topic today. Now, to get an account, please go to your Google Chrome and then search for myviewboard.com or straightly go to myviewboard.com. Once you are in the web page, please select the sign in button on the top right corner. You might be wondering, I don't have an account. How do I sign in? Well, let's take a look. When you click into the sign in page, you will see the single sign on services, including Google, Microsoft, and Apple. You simply choose your preferred service, and then we will create an account for you. For example, here I'm logging in with my Microsoft account. I click on my account and then it will lead me straight into my control page. Once you're in the control page, the first thing you can do is to download the software. To do that, simply click on whiteboard. There is a Windows button. Click on it and the installer will be downloaded automatically. While, wait, while you wait for it to download, the thing you can do is to change the name of your account. To do that, on the top right corner, click on this black head right here and then go to edit account. Next thing you're going to do is to change your name under my view board name. The reason to do this is for your students to join your classroom easier in the future. Now, once this is done, the next thing we can do is to go into follow me. Now to understand follow me, you can understand this as preference setting. There's something you can do in preference setting to start with. In Follow Me, the first thing you can do is cloud integration right here. To do this, you simply click on the bind button under the service you want to bind with, for example, Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, or any kind of service of your preference. The reason to do this is that any file in your cloud drive will be accessible to you when you are using my view board in the future once it's binded. So to do this, click the bind button and you will be ready to go. Once you have finished the following three things, downloaded software, changed the name, and binded your cloud drive, the next thing to do is to run the installer. Once you run the installer, you will see an orange cloud on your desktop. And all you have to do is to double click and open the, the software and you will see this page. Next episode, we will teach you how to sign in and what amazing functions we have in the software. Please click on our next episode and we will see you there. 